Hi again. This is for astrologers only. This is beautiful. You know, you know the synchronicity of astrology and horary. When something comes to you, you cast a chart the moment you see it. And the minute you look at it, the chart will reveal to you pretty much in coincidental appointment where all the planets lie in the chart tell you a lot about the situation. Well, here is something I find really, really exciting, and I wanted to share this with you because this is astrology at its finest. First of all, a video came to me, and says, somebody said, take a look at this. And it's a video of a woman that's considered the most beautiful anchor woman, news anchor woman in the world. So I said, okay. So I looked at it. It's kind of, wow, she is rather attractive. So I thought, I wonder why this is being thrown up on the net. So I hit it real hard, and... Uh, after it hit me back a few times, I got this chart, and you're going to be looking at this shortly. I'm going to, I'm going to look at it and read it to you as I, as I, as I talk with you. But one of the first things we notice is cancer is rising, and the idea of cancer rising, of course, says look immediately to the moon, and of course, cancer also exalts Jupiter. What do we find right off the bat? Ah, we have Jupiter and the moon conjoined in the fifth house, which is the joy of Venus. And we all know that Venus is the, is a goddess of love and beauty and artistic uh, enterprise. And here we're looking at that right off the bat. So here we see Venus really uh, pushed forward in the chart. Next, we look up at the sun. Notice where the sun is. It's in the 10th house. It's in its best dignity, uh, yeah, accidental dignity you can put it. However, it's also in exaltation. Uh, that is fabulous because here we are looking at somebody who is exalted and, and who she is. So now we're looking at the sun and it's in exaltation. Where is the ruler of the sun, Mars? It's in Pisces. And anybody knows that Pisces is an exaltation of Venus. So here it is one more time. We have Venus being exalted by Mars, the North Node, and Mercury, the communication aspect that brings us to us. This is exciting. This is exciting. Here we have Sun in exaltation. Tenth house right there on the very top of the chart, the highest point you can get in the meridian. It's beautiful. Now, how does this all fall into place? Look over here at Venus in the 11th house, one of the best places you can put it. And bingo, Venus is in its own sign, Taurus, resting extremely comfortable there. And it is in a sextile aspect, a very favorable aspect to the rising sign of Cancer. Wow. Also, Venus in Taurus says, look to the moon, another exaltation. We have a whole handful of exaltations going on while we're looking at this chart. This is amazing that something like this would come over the air at the time it did, and I look at the chart at the time I did. The coincidence of this is just spectacular. Here we're looking at an excellent aspect of how to look at a chart and see what it's actually telling us. We look at the ascendant sign, Cancer rising. It's a trine aspect to the moon, which is Jupiter. Both the moon and uh, cancer rising, exalt Jupiter, so here's an exaltation in the fifth house of Venus's joy, who's in her own sign, who's exalting the moon right back. I mean, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Now, the sun's in exaltation in the tenth house, more excitement because Mars is exalting Venus again. So here we have the best place you can put the sun at the best possible position in the chart, and bang, it says, go look at Mars, and Mars says, hey, I'm looking at Venus. Oh boy, look at that. So this whole chart literally reverberates around the planet Venus. And what is the subject? The most beautiful anchor woman in the world. This is really astrology at its best. Thanks for your time and enjoy looking at the chart.